Just when you thought it was safe to hit the streets in your sneaks, yeah, he's back! Episode 66 of the Shooter Podcast with me and the bro 808 Kicks Hotel. What is up, guys? How you doing? How you doing, bro? I'm good, man. What's up with you? I always forget this is on repeat at the start. All right, let's remove this. <laughs> what? Yeah, the, the, the music, the music on loop and, uh, on in the actual player. So yeah, we, we can't accidentally forget to unloop it. But yes, um, guys, uh, please like, do go and like, follow, subscribe, come and chat to us, let's have a conversation, let's break it down like we always do. 808 Kicks ATL is the YouTube profile you're looking for and the uh, Instagram and all the other stuff and Love Kit Customs for myself. We're on the audio channels. We're doing nicely on the audio channels I'd like to think um, we're getting loads of downloads which is great guys but yes please do go follow us on the social platforms that's out the way now let's get into the main nitty gritty bro nitty gritty <laughs> <laughs> hey 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 okay so it's a great thing when you was right and I was right <laughs> what do you mean so you was right about something on this podcast. Yeah. Which you which you are pretty often. Yeah. And I was also right about something on this podcast, which I am a little less than you are. I think your percentage of being right is a little higher than mine because you like yeah. to make more predictions than I do. But yeah. we was both right this time. Because you said green is what, bro? The color of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this Air Max 95 Stadium Green is really, really nice, man. It's just a really, really nice colorway. It almost looks like the OG Neo 95. Almost it, looks like them. It's close. Almost. It's pretty close. Uh, but that's not why I like it, to be honest with you. You are you are correct. Anytime they do that and they switch up, just change the color, you know. The the habanero the the uh, yeah it wasn't the royal blue I can't remember what what color the blue was I think there was a university they all had the same colorway they just switched the color kind of how, how they do with the bread and the shadow and the royal with the joy ones right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. It's a, doing the same thing yeah but, but, nice but let me but let me tell you bro if you sniff the glue so much you start hallucinating correct ideas. <laughs> so that glue you're sniffing in the shoe is making us hallucinate and imaginate and it's um giving us um this nostradamus effect on sneakers because if you sniff it long enough then you start you start predicting stuff <laughs> your leather toe on the 95 man Goodness this this leather this leather toe is going to be so hard to maintain but it looks so good brand new man Definitely, 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 definitely. That's a dope. That's a dope 95. Um, but I was also right. I was right about Nike putting the big cap on the Nike Air Max Pulse. Zach Bia previews his upcoming Nike Air Max Pulse collaboration. Ooh, I saw that this morning, actually. Yeah. Um, Triple black. there was a big, big push for the Air Max Pulse on Air Max Day. Um, every colorway, I'm seeing Air Max Pulse colorways on release calendars with raffles attached to them. Raffles? Raffles. Why raffles? Probably <laughs> because Nike is limiting their stock. I think it's because Nike is limiting the stock of, of the shoe to um, other retailers. Oh, okay. we're gonna, we gonna get into later on with the whole direct to consumer uh approach that they've been going with. But um I this think I think I think they've been limited. 
Yeah, this surprises me because basically I know the AMAX post came out on AMAX Day. Uh, I was actually at night in Nike Town on AMAX, AMAX Day and it was like showcased everywhere, um, which was great. Uh, I think it went under the radar. Not a lot of people talking about it. But bro, if it's gone on, um, if it's gone, AMAX post has gone limited. Let's sniff, sniff, sniff. Because <laughs> I can smell some AMAX vapor vibes, bro, here. Seriously. <laughs> Isn't that what they did with AMAX vapor? Uh, a little bit. Certain See? colorways, certain colorways, but like, th- bro, this is a full on collab. Yeah, like the shoe, yeah. the shoe is different from the normal bro, version. We had to say, we, we had the same mean? thing with the Air Max Vapor. We had the same thing with the Air Max Vapor. It's deja vu. Right? I mean, look at this. Like, look at this shoe, bro. This is a full blown, totally different version of the shoe. You know what I'm saying? Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally personalized for him. So. The fact that they're doing this and other retailers not getting, I don't think retailers are getting that many pairs of the, the regular Air Max Pulse. It's big cap, bro. They hype Yeah, of course, of course it's big cap. But you know what? Also, what they've done is, um, this This is obviously, this is a collaboration with a, an artist or a, or a musician, yeah? A DJ. I think he's a DJ. Yeah. I've never did, heard did, of the guy, did, by did, the way. Did I know a vibe? But did, but uh, shout out to the guy, by the way. Um, but did, do you do you not realize what they're doing? Did you do like they they attaching an urban vibe to this sneaker to get to get the the same same repertoire with Air Max ninety fives, um, Air Max nineties, Air Max ones? They're trying to push it into the urban scene, which I, it might I, work. It might I, work. I like I like the Air Max Pulse. I agree. I agree with what you're saying 100. percent That's why I call it Big Cap when I saw it, bro. Because the the initial advertisement that I saw for this sneaker was a lot more than I see for even some collaborations. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And this was just the initial colorway, the initial release. It's the new you model. Know? They're gonna push it. They, yeah. It's definitely, and this, this, they're doing the right thing. Like, like they, they, they didn't do as much with the Air Max Scorpion, but Air Max Scorpion was a, just a really unique sneaker. They this did is, it with Air Max Vapors. For this sure. is more. This is more than Vapor Max. They did. They did some things with Vapor Max, but there was. There was the cactus plant flea market vapor max. Yeah, yeah. There was, uh, you know, the off whites. They lim- they limited the va- the vapor maxes. They limited the first couple of runs as well, just like yeah. this, just like this, bro. Yeah. So it was it was it was lightweight, predictable, bro. Uh, yeah. We might see we might see more collabs. I like this one. I, I might try for this one. This is hard. I like it. It's not, it's not, we're not we're not saying it's. I'm not I'm not saying this ain't great. This is like all I'm saying is it's it's the strategies are predictable. Mm-hmm. Like you know you know you know how you can predict some of this stuff because it's it's almost like play. It's like a playbook. It's like if you once you read that playbook, and once you know <laughs> that playbook, once you know the moves on that playbook, you can predict step by step by step of what's going to happen. And that's the that's a, this is why. I I can start predicting stuff when I look at stuff because I'm like, that's that, that's that, that's that, that's that. This is why I'm a, I predicted, well, we predicted the MMN Year 5 wrote collection, like this collaboration before it was released. But this is why I put my put my hands on the Chicago. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, you was, see what I'm was, saying? Hold on, hold on. Don't go to claiming my prediction now. I oh, yeah, you're in Chicago. <laughs> Chicago was yours. No, no, but no. Like, I, cla- I claim this, the Omo um, Year 5. Uh, yeah, I'm a man, yeah, I'm a yeah, I'm a man, yeah. So, so you agree, you agree, you immediately agree with me, but yeah. it was my idea. Don't try to steal my. my oh, yeah, yeah, no, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> get, get a bit defensive here, bro. <laughs> nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Um, but yeah, the, but the thing is, like, on a podcast, we come up with so many crazy ideas, um, and most of them, like, like basically, I personally think DJ Khaled's gonna do a Khaled 4. This year or next year, but be leading up to the anniversary before. Um, I did, there's a lot of things. Uh, we predicted the Tokyo T23. Hopefully, that comes through in 2025 for the 25th anniversary. Oh, 35th, 35th anniversary. I wish it was 25 years, but it's 35 years. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, but yeah. So that 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 could potentially come out. We seen we seen the thunder third release of the thunders. We never we never predicted the lightnings will come out. Like what uh, two years last year or the year before. Yeah, bro, it, it, it's it's um it's a predictable game. If you know the playbook, bro, you know exactly what's going to happen, okay. and you can predict the playbook. You can definitely predict the playbook. If 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 you want to go that route, is it's but it's so it's the wild wild west right now. To be honest with you, yeah. Um, yeah. because 
every time we look up, every time we turn around, it's something new, it's something different. We don't let know me let me know. let me just say let me say one thing on that, bro, right? Because every time we sit down on a every time it comes down to Saturday, we sit down and write the program. And I cannot believe how many stories have happened in one day, what like one week, seven days, and yeah. there's all the drama. And you know, you could literally write a um a, a a series of uh or you know like if you ever watched like soaps, you know what soaps are? Yeah. East Enders coronations. You could do you could do that with sneakers, bro. Well, I'm yeah. just joking. It's, it's it's now we're really starting to um have to cut topics. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, before, yeah. Before before we we um we tried to cover everything that we could, but now it's to the point where it's so much going on because everybody back outside. Oh bro, you, you know, know you know how hard it was to write the sneaker news this week. You know how hard it was right to write <laughs> this week. I was like I, I was like, what should I cut out? What should I leave in? I, I I tried to do my best effort, and I think I think I did a good job on this this week. Um, but yeah, but like for from my from my perspective, yo, I had to like, do I make it 120 minutes instead, 120 seconds instead? Because that's how many stories are coming out this week. It's crazy. And on that, bro, let's get to the first quick strike, shall we? <laughs> yeah, man. Um, your boy. <clears throat> Oh, what is this? Hold on. <laughs> Tip for parents. <laughs> Didn't switch the page up on me. Nah, your boy. <laughs> Dylan your boy, Brooks. Uh, Dylan Brooks. What? what? L- Dylan, Dylan Dow Bookyoff, and he's now Waykitiof, the position of um, Haitiof. <laughs> Bruh. This man, this man then sacrificed, he then sabotaged his own career. From, I know, bro. From all from all the sacrifices that professional athletes have to make to get to where they are, sometimes you don't understand. Um, listen, it, it takes a certain type of person to reach these levels, right? Yeah, yeah we know that. Yeah, um, it's hard. It's hard to. It's hard to reach these levels. Yeah, and and for in my opinion, I ain't never been there. Yeah, I had hoop dreams, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> for 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 to re- to reach that level, and we see it happen all the time. But to do it in the way that he's done it, bro, just making a fool of yourself. <sighs> we ain't seen this since Ruben Patterson called himself the Kobe Stopper. Have you uh, ha- 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 listen? Have you ever heard of Ruben Patterson? No, no, exactly. <laughs> Ruben Patterson was a player for the Portland Trailblazers when Shaq and Kobe was in LA. And Ruben Patterson, they won a game, and Ruben yep. Patterson went to the, the media and called himself the Kobe Stopper. And Kobe Boy, Bryant yeah. proceeded to put his foot all up in parts of Ruben Patterson that Ruben Patterson didn't even realize were there. <laughs> so this is what happened with Dylan Brooks. He talking about respect for forty. Guess what? I ain't got to put forty on you, bro. How about we? My team just beat your team by forty. You know what I'm saying? I think they got they got outscored in the paint or out rebounded us. It was one of the other stats, but there was yeah. two forties in that game. You know what I'm saying? Because you're talking crazy. about LeBron James, bro. This man is pretty much officially the greatest player to ever play. If you're yeah. looking at if you're looking at numbers, you know what I'm saying? It's debatable Statistic, him, st- Jordan. St- it don't matter, bro. He's him, you're not. You're Dylan Brooks. Now guess what? Your team don't want you no more. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh d- basically d- is he left the league? Like is it is it all over for no, him? No, for no, the no, no. He he ain't left. Yeah. The question is will he get a contract and if so where and for how much because now his career is on the bubble because yeah yeah he ran his mouth real real big in the same season that LeBron James broke the record for the all-time leading scorer in NBA history you decide to trash talk him in the playoffs and proceed to lose badly hmm and decline 
to speak to the media post game? How'd you how'd you come back from that? How'd you come back from that? Somebody somebody gonna give him a contract. Either some maybe somebody give him a, a contract um, nowhere near what he think he should get because he he's an NBA player. He's not um, he's not the one of the best really at all. He worked yeah. for that team. Um, he was good for that team for the type of player that he was, you know, or, or is. Um, he's a chippy in your face, hard nose, um, rah rah. Like he's he's a heart and soul type of dude. You know what I'm saying? Not the most yeah, talented, right. but he works really really hard, and he tries really really hard. You you and can't then, you will never you say he didn't. For that. You right, right. You you'll never say he didn't put forth his best effort, but he yeah. just, he ain't that talented. He ain't he ain't talented enough to trash talk LeBron James. Hmm. Like, mm. Come on, bro. That was, on, you're talking about you could one of the greatest. The, the, the thing is, I feel I felt sorry for him because he was getting absolutely trolled um, by a lot of people. Um, didn't he pick a fight with Ch- Shannon? Yeah. A couple of years back as well. I, I no, realized no, that, that was as well. this season. That was this, this year. season. Yeah, don't lie against the Lakers. Because <sighs> Shannon Sharp, yeah, yeah. you know, Shannon Sharp is super LeBron dude. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Shannon Sharp was at the game. Um, you know, trash talk. Shannon Sharp, former uh, professional athlete. You know, regular trash talk. Uh, for some reason, they got heated. I mean, they made uh, John ja Morant dad got it got mixed up into, it. and that's the thing, bro. With as much controversy swirling around John ja Morant, yeah, for Dylan Brooks to now be the center of attention, and he he may have caught some of the flack for yeah. the Josh ja situation. Um, first, you know, well, you know what? I take that back. I take that back because. Jaw's situation didn't necessarily affect their positioning. It, it may have had an effect on their chemistry or their momentum going into the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. Because, you know, his stuff started happening towards the end of the season and he missed them games, you know, suspension and, and counseling or whatever. But Dylan Brooks, once they got into because they was the number two uh, – no, they weren't number two. Were they number two or three? One of them. I mean, they were still a high seed, yep. you know, and I think they were number two because they played the Lakers. The Lakers were number seven. Yeah, so they were number two. Number two in the conference, playing against the number seven seed that just so happened to have arguably the greatest basketball player to ever live and one of the best players in the league in Anthony Davis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, he's getting a lot of stick recently as well. Yeah, Anthony Davis went. This ain't a sports show, bro. But yeah, no, Dylan no, no. Brooks. Dylan Brooks, you get <laughs> the red card. <laughs> the red card, my boy. Hey, man. Mm-hmm. The Grizzlies say they done with you. Under no circumstances will Dylan Brooks return to the Memphis Grizzlies. Is is the report? Yeah, I couldn't, I, I couldn't I, find I the right that. page. I apologize for everybody that's watching, but at the end of the day, Dylan Brooks that screwed his career because Memphis is known for toughness and grit and hard nosed players and uh, good defensive players. So, for a guy like Dylan Brooks to be shunned by a franchise that embraces what he represents is a really, really bad look for him. And other it, teams it, around the league gonna take notice. It's the negative. It's the negativity that he brought to that actual position. I think um, um, a lot the, the, from that whole p- position of what he said to. He, I know there was issues with Golden Gold Street Warriors. There was issue with Lakers. There was issue with him running his mouth. And uh, the, the, the pre- they got to a point where they bubbled over into the public light. And then I think that's from then on they were like, you know what. Um, we need to like kind of step away from this guy because I don't think he matches the uh, the brand or the franchise, and we I don't think he, he you not know what like, it, You know what it is. You you absolutely correct. Um, also, 
he's not good. He's not good enough on the court to have as much shine as he does. Bro, I, I was just laughing at all the stuff that was coming out from it. So, like, even who's the go- who's the Golden State Warrior a player similar to D- D- Dylan Brooks? Draymond. I was just Draymond. about to say Draymond. He's yeah, like a, he's a he's a junior Draymond. Yeah, not as good. I wouldn't say it's good. He, he diet Draymond. <laughs> diet Pepsi. <laughs> diet Cola. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> he, he diet, diet Draymond, bro. That's what he is. That's what Dylan Brooks is. He's diet Draymond. <laughs> With the same attitude. With the same attitude. Worse. That's the problem. That's the problem. Because Draymond would talk crazy, be wrong, and then do an interview and go home and do a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Draymond don't run from the camera. Draymond is a podcaster. He's he's new media. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's Dylan Brooks. He got to he got to grow up, man, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, that that was that was that was interesting. Like how karma works that way. You know, karma is a massive thing. Yeah, I believe in it quite a bit. So, um, that that was a whole uh, karma situation. Run your yeah. mouth, you get found yeah. out. Next week's fight, bro. Man, 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 we got him, bro. What you get? We got him. <laughs> you, know you out of here, bro. Yeah, um, I, I saw this. I saw this this week, right? And I, for for some reason, something happened. Something interesting happened. Um, there was a suggestion the day before this news came out that Tom Sachs was going to actually continue on with his franchise. And mm-hmm. then the next day, Nike came out and said, "Nope." Nope, <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like currently work, working, not not working with Tom Sachs uh, on any plan release. And this has come out from the Marjard 3.0 because I think the Marjard 3.0 was just rumored to be worked on at this moment in time. And then, um, then Nike said, Sorry, but we were retracting any kind of work. Um, just because of what happened, bro. We know what happened. We know the allegations thrown at um, actual Tom Sachs. If you don't know, go and, go and I have a look at the podcast or Google it because um, some of the allegations are bad. Some of the uh, uh, harassment allegations are bad as well. But yeah, the Nike's officially done the right thing, I reckon. Yeah. The official statement is we are not working with Tom Sachs Studio at this time. I have no release dates planned. End mm-hmm. quote. End quote. <laughs> <laughs> so verbatim is like, yep, no, we are leaving you out to pasture for the time being. You are gardening leave. You are going to tend the flowers until we kind of rec- recognize either you belong there permanently or you are coming back. That's pretty got much him. it. We got him. <laughs> we got him. We got him. Yo, <clears throat> I, this, this is, I've been waiting on this. Quick strike, another quick start, bro. Um, full. I don't think they're full time sneakers. Let's be honest; these are sneakers that are gonna come up up to full time. Let's just let's be the, honest. Up to full time sneakers. The Jordan, <laughs> uh, what they call it? Jordan preview release preview, preview. to the full time. Because I, I'm, I'm a bit, one thing. If this is full time sneakers, I'm a bit disappointed because they ain't got no sneakers that I know this coming out in full time. The, the next ten Jordans that's coming out for 2020. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one, bro. That's the so, one. Let me let me say this before we get into this. All right, because we were both. Well, I was. I think I was a little more disappointed than you were at um, the spring release calendar. Yep. 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 And now we we coming to the end of that. We just got the neutral gray twos, um, or cement gray or whatever gray. The white and gray twos. We just got them. White and gray twos. Cool. <laughs> what, what? The cool gray, white and gray twos. The the and the, the cool age, gray. Yeah, the so... women's the women's cool yeah. grays too. Yeah, we got those. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, neutral gray, neutral gray with the age sold twos. <laughs> right. Half part the the age the age back tab, but not age midsole. Two. Part sneaker, part human twos. <laughs> 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 the new, the new old, the new old white and gray twos. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it will um, be on the. It will be all right on the night, Jordan twos. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man! Come on, man. we got to show them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Forty points over Dylan Brooks twos. 
no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. We ain't gonna, we ain't, we can't put that kind of shade on that too, man. That's a nice shoe. <laughs> we can't we can't we can't put that. They're not the Dylan Brooks twos. No, no, no. None of forty um, points over Dylan Brooks twos. Um, <laughs> I, I like, I like, uh, I like more of this collection than I did the previous collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. Sure. So, starting out, <clears throat> UNC to Chicago, UNC to Chicago lows, Jordan lows. That they dope. Um, what, what do you mean, ratings? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm getting it like a good five goats, maybe five. A witch, yeah, yeah, yeah. UNC highs. Oh, bro, that's super goat. That's super dope. Oh, I'm getting it. That's super goat. Super goat. Super goat. <laughs> super <laughs> goat. Moving, swift, moving swiftly on. <laughs> black toe. Black toe lows, bro. Woo. That's a five goats. Chicago black toe lows. Chicago black toe. Yeah. What we got, bro? What for, for the for, for, for the black toe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, super goat. I oh, know five five goats. Super goat. I say five goats. I black laces, super, black super goat. Black laces, super goat. I might, I might have to get rid of my UNC lows. I ain't warm. I'm so happy I ain't warm yet, too. I might have to get rid of it. <laughs> um, this gray. That, okay. Uh, the, you, you, I'm going to say it. No, 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 no. It's called, it's called a stealth. It's called a stealth one, but it looks like the Amman Mania low. <laughs> no, it's it the looks it is a stuff. It just, it, bro, that's that's not great. It looks like the violet orb. It looks it definitely looks like the Amma near Jordan One Low. Mm. The the Amma Minier wannabe Jordan One Low. It looks like that to me, bro. I see what you're saying, but I'm not. I'm no, no, okay. Let, let, I, I would just just to age out out so uh, mid so yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um. I think this is a good customization shoe right here. I'm gonna give it a five. Okay, I think I think uh, I think it's nice. It's just nice. Like it just it. looked like it's a nice shoe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't guys, love go, the go colorway, go. but the quality make me give it a five. G- guys, go and check out the uh, the Jordan One Low Stealth. They're actually dope. Yeah, now we're coming into some real stuff. The Palomino Jordan One High. That reminds me of the what the mocha shadows, the mocha breads, the mocha, the mocha anything you want on your toast. Yeah, this this is what <laughs> I was just speaking on. How yeah, they just changed the colorway on a bread. Yeah, they changed, they changed the red Ooh. to a different color, and it's a hit every time, bro. It don't That's matter what chocolate, color, you bro. Make. That's chocolate, bro. That is, yeah. that is a dope sneaker. That's that's literally dark chocolate on a sneaker, bro. That mm-hmm. mocha is so good. So so good. Yeah, it look it it really it literally looked like um fine chocolate. Yeah. Fine dark chocolate, straight up. It might be more mocha than the mocha ones, bro. Yeah. 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 Palomino, man. Uh this women's I can't remember the name of it. Uh, yeah, the Palomino. Jordan one Palomino. No, the Palomino. The this women's right here. Oh, the Pauline. Yeah. That's okay. it's okay. It's it's nice that, but away, man. I don't like the lace laces. Uh, my 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 um my missus looked at them the other day and she was like, Oh, I like these. They're the because well, of the Parlines. Oh, okay, you got satin laces. Oh, they're nice. Yeah, I don't she like the lace them. laces. Yeah, yeah she, she likes them. She likes I'm them. I'm pretty sure it, they, it says, they probably come with some white laces or yeah, they do. They do come on, they they come with separate white laces, but also um it's definitely gonna be a women's exclusive. I yeah, know yeah. that for sure. For sure, yeah. for sure. That's no, a that's a dope that's a dope sneaker. That's a dope colorway. That's definitely a dope dope colorway. Take take those satin laces off and put some white laces on them, bro. Yeah, you, you know how much it, fire um, You called it a uh, rookie of the year s. Yeah, yeah. It's almost look rook, look the colorway. The rook. If you know the rookie of the year, yeah, it's got the wee overlays. That that yeah. almost kind of looks like that. It's not exactly that, but it looks like that. The rookie of the year still one of the best ones too. Yeah, yo, I'm all over that. Palomino for Jordan Free. That, I know. <laughs> that's I know. a problem, bro. That, that's a problem, bro. I'm, <laughs> that's definitely a problem with a capital P. Hey? It. Is it sweet? Nah. Yeah, I ain't with it. Really? Mm-hmm. I, I, I like it. I like it quite a bit. Definitely quite a bit. It's cool. I ain't with it. 
Mm, okay. I give it a okay. four. These uh, twos. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. What you? Oh, uh, you super good on these, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I, I like them. I'll, I'll give them a five, five goats. I, I like them a lot. Um, they are, oh, they look very oaky to me. Like in terms of wood, like it's got got more of a wood grain effect on it to, for me. Yeah, I'm thinking coffee when I look at them. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But I, I, I really, obviously, everybody's going to point to the mocha freeze for that. Like espresso, yeah, but yeah, not it's so different. Much. It's very yeah, different. It's, it's, it reminds me more of the desert elephant than the mocha. Yeah, yeah. This is why I like it. This is this is why I like it a lot. Yeah, uh, UNC lows with the gray bottom for some reason. Um, they okay. Yep. yep MFO. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I, I I agree with you on that. Now. <sighs> <laughs> and now <laughs> the red cement the red cement fours they go give the you trash. it's gonna Put be some, the trash it's go it's gonna be two gr fours every year that you're gonna either love or hate and i neither love nor hate either one of these i'm interested in these um both of these releases to be honest with you I'm gonna can I can I uh, can I say my personal opinion on them on the red cement please. red cement fours please. the red cement fours. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It looks it looks like it looks like a GS sneaker. <laughs> it looks like a what? sneaker that that it looks like a GS sneaker to me. It looks like a sneaker that um that the UAs created by accident that was a mock up for my oh. uh, House of Heat page that, that that shouldn't have come to light because it should have been different. It just doesn't look right to me, bro. Does not look right to me at all. It's just off, massively off. It's bro. almost like that red. It's almost like that red wants to be a transformer and transform to gray. It just looks. So off, bro. I'm not lying. No well, lying. The, you know why? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why. Let me. Let me. Let me explain your thoughts to you. Gone. <laughs> Gone. This I'd like is. To see this is an alternate fire red. I can't That's see that. I, people keep saying that. I can't see that. Yes, I can't look at see the, it. Look at the color flip, bro. From the wings to the outsole. My fire red there. And the back tab. No, no, just look just look at this picture, bro. So this this has red wings, red back tab. I hate you. I hate you. You're, right. You're, right. You, you're right. You're I hate you. I hate you. You're right. I just oh, saw the fire red and it's a flip. It's a flip uh, of fire red. This is why I don't like it. Red this is why I, this is why I don't like it. If we got fire reds. Bro, I got two fire reds. I don't want this. I, it's not I'd like necessary. <laughs> Joe, bro, this is I. You know when you said this is the flip on the fire reds, and I turned to my left, and the fire reds are sitting right there, and I looked at them, and I said, "You're right," and I hate you for it. But this is why I don't like it, because it does. It looks, it looks almost unnatural because it. I'm so used to the fire red force. Um, uh, you you like a flip? <laughs> it, there, there's there's a sneaker flip out there that you like. Yeah. That that um doesn't justify you can you can dislike this shoe. I ain't I'm not disputing yeah. that. But no, you, no, no. you get uh, what it is. Yeah, I get what it is, and you made it more clearer to me when you said it. And this it's is why GR, I don't like it even it's the GR for the year. Yeah, most likely. It's gonna be most likely. It should have just stayed at preschool, you know, but you know, give it to the kid that wanted. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but let, let, but let me just say um, that uh, Jordan Four. What, what's the? It's, it's called a frozen moment, ain't it? Frozen the Jordan Four moment. frozen. Yeah. I I, I kind of want this. I kind of want it. Okay. I don't. I, I, I kind of. I kind of don't want it because I got I got cool gray fours. Yeah, and I don't. I don't have cool gray fours. I got. I got the Air Max ninety five fours. I kind of want this. Ah. Yeah, you know what? This the both of these sneakers are decided like un- indecisive. I I hate. I, I'm gonna be honest, right? Um, if you got fire red fours and if you got cool gray fours, you don't need these two at all. I'm and the thing is, I got double ups, double up of both. Um, and I worn double up all both of those double ups. Um, but I've worn. I saved some. Hey, graph fours. 
Yeah, the crop. Yeah, bro, another one. Craft Wars. Um, I I do like. I'm gonna be honest. I do like the sneaker, the Frozen Moments. It is not. It's just another grey sneaker. Um, but also, I'm interested in the Mud Guard and the toe where it's more pattern leather than yeah, anything else. That, that looks a bit that, different. Yeah. I respect. You know what? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. I respect the Frozen Moment sneaker more than the <laughs> Red Cement. I'm not even joking. Yeah. Okay. I respect that. Uh, yeah, for some reason I respect that more. For some reason I just respect it more. Okay, swiftly moving on. What, have we, what else have we got in the in the rest of <laughs> Chambry se- sevens and yo the playoff eights the playoff eights. Yeah, give me the mates. Give me the mates. I'll eat all the eights up, bro. Don't worry about we'll that. Go. Yeah, we'll go for one hundred percent hit list status. I need the playoff eights in my life. Um, I I'm cool on this seven. Yeah, this, yeah. I, I, I like I like I like the seven. I like the Shamri seven. I always have, but I'm cool. Give us give us all the sevens, eights. bro. Super give us all. on these playoff eights, man. Bro, <clears> give <throat> us give us. I might even double up on these. I'm not even joking. I w- I might want to rock one of these eights like crazy because that that that's how much I love that Jordan eight. Oh. I want I want I want the bugs buddy the ultimate bugs buddy. I want all. Of the eights to come back out because I am sitting here. I'm like on eBay every every week, and there's an eight on sale for out for way way under because they've been run through. But I want a fresh pair. I want a new pair. I want a pair that is just there for me to wear. Yeah, they out there right now. It's gonna be a big release because they out there right now, and the prices mm, are I know. crazy on them. Yeah, so, bro. Um, yeah. I might, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm on. <sighs> yeah, man. Are you, are you, did you, did you see, did you see the sweat down your forehead come down to your eyes? Like, yeah, last, that's hard. <laughs> last that's but hard not thing. least. No, that's, that's, this is, a, that, that playoff eight is my GR. Um, Probably my GR of the, of the year. Right yeah, now. yeah. <sighs> Right. Bro, is it is isn't it magnificent? We're getting OG after OG after OG every single year. So amazing. So I'm so amazing. Think, is is, well, no. But, um that that pink wash one is my GR of the year. I need yeah. to see I need to see what the quality on. Hopefully I get a a, a good quality eight and, and yeah. it's gonna be you right should. up there with that. I, I think you should. I think you definitely should. I gotta I gotta uh, no, never mind. Never mind. What Moving you, on. Bro? <laughs> the last you just, you just can't leave us in suspense like that, bro. No, Where no, have no. You got? I, can't, I can't say it. You know, I already. Oh, it's a secret. I can't say it. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. If you if you if you DM um or if you PayPal Q a hundred pounds to tell you the secret. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Last but not least. Sneakers. Yo, both, 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 both dope sneakers. The twelve, the Jordan Five. Burgundies. I say that with a with a very burgundies because these are dope. Absolutely dope. Go super go. Yeah. No, no, no one can no one can tell me otherwise. Um, I'm on my year is gonna keep me away from the burgundy. I like the burgundy. I don't think I need it because I got so many. I I got I'm on my other I'm on my year except the twelves. So I don't. L- L- Somebody said to me, actually, why am I saying somebody? Scott, you said to me the other day, the Burgundy 5 should have been there, remember, near 5. No. <laughs> no. That's you know a what? great shout, bro. That's a great shout. No. They should have they should have put the A on the side and the 23 on the other side. Yeah. That's what it should be. It's okay putting it on the tone, though. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, but anyway, uh, Burgundy Fives, Super Goat, like you said. Um, yeah. These 12s, bro. The the Laker 12s? What are, you, are we yeah, calling I, them Laker 12s? Yeah. I was just about to say that they're the Laker 12s. Because the gold, the, the metallic gold with the purple, bro. <sighs> uh, I've gonna... got, I've got, I've got the university golds. I've I have the university golds of these variations. Now I've got the purple variation, bro. Like if you put those two colors together, that is the LA color, the LA Lakers colorway, bro. That's a dope sneaker. That would be a dope sneaker. Imagine the black is yellow, bro. Or flip verse. This is hard. I can see them doing the Lakers twelve. Mm, definitely. I can see purple oh. and white. 
like um yeah. like the obsidian. Ooh, that's that's dope. Yo, just put purple on anything. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're good. All purple. You're good. All, listen, all purple suede with the white with the white mud guard and white outsole. Yellow yeah. Yeah, uh, metallic metallic eyelids. Yellow uh back tail. You know what I'm saying, man? Yeah, Come yeah. On, let man. me just let me let me just let me just wipe the saliva <laughs> off the side of my mouth there. <laughs> <laughs> right, swiftly moving on. Next quick strike. Let's get through these because we've got quite a bit today. So, um, yeah, what are you to, pulling up now? Yeah, um, the Nocta, the Nocta Nike Zoom Drive collaboration with Nike. What's what's your thoughts on this one, bro? Because it's um, it's an interesting sneaker to come come back. I think I've not heard of the Nike is Nike Zoom Drive. No, this is a, this is a brand new silhouette. Is it? No. Okay, cool. Whoa, I thought he's come. He got. He went back into the archives and and took something. No, I I be on the um, I be on the Nike app all the time. I ain't never seen anything remotely resembling this. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it looked like a one hundred percent brand new silhouette to me, and it's not it. <clears throat> um, you don't like you don't like it. No, it looks super casual. Maybe that's what he's going for. Um, it is different. I can appreciate how different it is. It it, it looks AI ish. Um, it's got me intrigued to see what he's gonna do with the colorways. Obviously, what we're seeing on screen is a grey and a black and white variation and a yellow, to yellow out the midsole variation. But that's not gonna be the sneaker and so I just want to see what he does with it. If yeah, I'm I don't. This I think they obviously use AI to uh, help design this sneaker. Yeah, yeah. It it um it don't really appeal to me too. To I I. It, just, it looked real basic. It looked real basic. Okay. Maybe that's what they're going for, though. I don't, I don't know. But it's not let's just see. Let's just see what that's see what comes out with that because basically, um, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna sit here and, and judge what a sneaker may be. I'm gonna see what the sneaker looks like, and then we can judge from there. But um, I'm intrigued. I, 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 you have caught, you have caught my attention. So I'm intrigued to see um what kind of sneaker they're actually gonna drop. And what colorway is it going to drop? Is it going to be a pure black with a gold accent like the, like the Nocta sneaker? But let's have a look. Let's have a look and see. Pretty much, he can he can Nick. do he can do what he want to do though. So exactly, he's 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 the he's the owner of his own brand, so he can do what he wants with Nike. If he wants to do a sneaker, if he wants doesn't want to hit a Air Max, he wants to hit something else. He can hit something else. It doesn't That's, matter. Exactly. <laughs> Next quick strike, bro. Um, this is this is some exciting news, and we know the Jordan Three. We're in the thirty fifth anniversary of the Jordan Three. The J Balvin Air Jordan Three is dropping September. Now you're probably wondering what the colorway is. Well, the colorway on this sneaker is called multicolor, 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 and more multicolor for your taste because that's what the sneaker uh, actual colorway is going to be. So, what do you reckon this sneaker is going to look like, bro? Because I'm a bit confused. <laughs> I'm a bit confused. I said on the live the other day, I wouldn't mind if this was like a civilist free where you can kind of fade off and it actually has a pattern, the Jordan 1 pattern on, on the underneath of the material or on underneath of that UV lighting. That would be dope if they did something like that, but I don't think it's going to be. But I'm excited. I'm 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 just I'm just going on like because I'm excited about it. I imagine this to be what because he got a Okay, roll with me here. Roll with me here. Yep. For a second. I'm rolling. Second. He has to come hard enough to make up for the twos. Not yeah. Well. And just just don't price it at 270. That's all I'm saying. I'm 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 literally saying whatever you do with a sneaker, don't price it at 270. I, I, no, <laughs> Nobody's no, no, gonna no. buy it. The Amethyst Wave Jordan Four. Yeah, think about that. If I'm him, think about the Amethyst Wave Jordan Four. What think about his. Those? Think about his first sneaker, right? Think about his first sneaker, the J Balvin One. Think about the J Balvin One. Then think about the Zen Master Four, the Amethyst oh, Wave. Bro, I you, uh, now I just realized, now I just realized. now now let's go back a little further. If I'm him, let's go back a little further. Think about the civilist dunk. Hmm. With the with the heat, uh, yeah, 
That's what I said. I, 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 I might. Be, I would love it to. Be, I love it if it's going to be like a civilist Jordan free. Imagine if you do that two or three, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I, I said this on the. I, I said this. Colors. I said this on the sneakers. I uh, said this on the Instagram live the other day. Imagine if they did that uh, like a civilist free. But I don't. I don't think it's going to be the case. Um, I'm going to be honest. That Jordan's not going to be leather. That Jordan's not going to be leather. It's going to be canvas. Just like his ones and in his twos. The twos was a different material. It wasn't leather either. Yeah, it wasn't canvas either. Uh, it wasn't canvas either. Oh, man. That's disappointing. I mean, listen, bro. This, if this were he... Did, it's a three, though. Yep. So it's, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to do a three bad, bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, even the threes that you don't like, are still nice looking. It just might not be nice looking enough for your taste. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and there are threes that, that people love that I don't care for and vice versa. But it, it, come on. I just uh, I just got I got high hopes for it. I really do. Yeah. I hope I, I hope I, he I, can I make up for it. Um because if they if they end up doing like the twos did not just don't make good. it. Don't make don't don't make it that price. Don't make don't do it without anything fancy to that. Just make no, it. That was, that was because of the lights and whatnot. That was because of yeah, the yeah. tech. Yeah, but <laughs> bro, um, just just to stop you off there, I I, I have to apologize. Uh, you might want to give me the yellow card for this. Um, but yeah, I I was wrong. Like some Jordan threes in that canvas colorway are dope. Uh, let me just be honest, right? Um, those camo threes, I regret. I have so much regrets not getting that. That is a hard sneaker, bro. Mm -hmm. I, I saw it again yesterday and I literally sat there and said, why did you not pick this up when it was on sale? Why did I not pick this up when... And like, and the worst case is, the, the, the worst thing is, this is the worst thing, absolute worst thing. He hit the, the person orange laces on them, and I was yeah. like, "Yo, yo!" I had to, I had to take my orange yeah. laces out. I, I couldn't. You I can't get. Enough, I ain't got enough stuff to go with them. I got to figure some things out though. Cause I need. I want to wear mine again, but I ain't got enough to match them up. You can't go more undefeated with the free than the camo free without making an undefeated free. That's what I'm saying with that sneaker. Mm. Uh, I I I I love that more and more the more I see it, unfortunately. And then that's the same way I felt with the Bio Beige Jordan Free Tinkers when I didn't get them when they were on sale. And I was like, yo, I can wait because now I'm loving those colorways. So the moral of the story is go and just pick up the sneaker if you don't like it because you might like it in a couple of years' time. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. But hopefully, hopefully, hopefully uh, J Balvin can uh, write the course, man, because... Yeah, yeah. Two, one, <coughs> now next quick have, strike let's have some real fun <laughs> okay 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 <laughs> what did i say in my sneaker news <laughs> you live and you learn oh well <laughs> <laughs> yo break it down bro break it down bro man resellers lose again and i love it resellers stuck with 80 <laughs> pair 80 pairs of big red boots. Uh, if you guys want to know how much he spent, IE pairs is 30 grand. Just put that into narrative. 30 grand worth of these money on big red boots. So now break it down even more, bro. So in February, from the 16th to the 19th, the big red boot was selling for around an average of $1,200. Yeah. In all sizes, right? Yeah. So yeah, I got all these big red boots. I'm about to cash out, right? You better go on the cash out, fool. Cha-ching! Because <laughs> <laughs> right now, <laughs> as of March the 5th, the Three big red boot later. is averaging around 320, 330, something like that. Yeah, that's crazy. That, that that actually is some craziness because um you, you know you know why that was okay, cool. If you if you if you're a, a buy if you're a, a pro, 
a promising reseller, let's just say you're 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 basically looking at this and you're worried. Let me tell you, let me break this down for you guys, right? The big red boot is a gimmick shoe. It's mm-hmm. a it's a specialized sneaker. It's a sneaker that won't be worn everywhere, even though it caught social media attention, even though it caught celebrity attention. After that attention was gone, it feels lonely in the corner because it doesn't know what to do. And that's the sneaker in total, because at the end of the day, this sneaker is specialized. This sneaker is for special occasions. This sneaker goes to Comic Con. This sneaker goes to like events like that, cosplay events like that. This sneaker is specialized but if you want to go invest in something that has it has hype and attention at the start you need to make sure you cash out real quick because three months later down the line that sneaker is going for below retail right and that's the situation with the sneaker so but that's specialized for this field now when you talk about sneakers like age Jordan fours or age Jordan ones or any other collaboration that's different because it's got heritage behind it it's got history behind it. it's got knowledge behind it that's different Mm-hmm. This right here, what we're seeing is a sneaker that is very gimmicky, like the wavy baby, right? That was specialized for that moment in time. And it had its 15 seconds of fame. And now it's sitting right back down. You know what, too? This is a bad look for mischief. I don't think it is, though. <clears throat> I think so. Um, not not necessarily um like a hit on their um on their hype at the moment. But now I think this puts a stigma on like the BD, BWD, you know, ain't nobody talking about this shoe no more. Yeah. Yeah. But you this know? is, this is with, this is everything <laughs> yeah. with mischief shoes. That what you don't remember, what you don't realize is that they're a new brand that's establishing themselves in the, in the market in the industry. And they're not going to have the same, they will have the same kind of repertoire. Like, oh yeah. Look at this sneaker. It's different. It's interesting. It's the gobstompers, the wavy babies, the hospital sneaker, the big red boot, the BWD, all of that celebrities pick up that, but they're not, they're novelty sneakers. They're not sneakers that you can wear on, on, on normal occasions. They're not, the big, you ain't seen anybody on the street wearing big red boots like that. No, bro. hell no. You ain't gonna see it. Yeah. <laughs> that's not what. That's not. That's not what it was made for. Just, just like when we talk about when we talk about like public, no, not public, like Pokemon, like all of the Pokemon cards was a trend. It ha- it comes and goes. It keep, comes and goes. But way like mischief have got it with every sneaker. It's a trend. It comes. You see it. Everything had mass mysterious for a week or two, and it goes. The only time you will see somebody actually wearing stuff like that, like the Mario boots, like the, um, you know, the BWD, only time you see people wearing this type of stuff is when they about to go make an appearance or they about yeah. to uh, create some content. And the like guarantee, that. and the guarantee, this sneaker in, in countries like maybe Japan, maybe in South Korea, these sneakers, these sneakers will be massive because they, 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 that whole, co- even in the cosplay scene in America and in, in like some certain states, the cosplay seems, the cosplay scene is heavy, bro. So yeah, somebody, will, somebody might put them on for the day, but they, they make, I guarantee you they film it. Yeah. <laughs> and they, it's 2023, bro. It's, it's a content film. sneaker. It's a yeah. content sneaker. Yeah, that's what it is. It's not even a sneaker. A boot. <laughs> a boot. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a, a boot. It's a prop. It's a, yeah. And this is no disrespect to Michigan. But that's what it no. is. It's a prop, it's bro. It's a it's a thing. It's 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 a costume. It's, exactly. It's, it's not exactly it's not, ain't nobody putting them on and going to work nine to five. You know what I mean? No. This is, this is, and, you're and, not and, putting and, them on to go to the club. Well, trying to caveat, caveat. Unless you're a clown, unless you're a clown, that's work. Yeah, exactly. That's work. That's yeah. work. But yeah, yeah um, that, that 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 was interesting. Like guys, you. I always say this: know your market. Know the market that you're aiming for. No, no. If you're going into that market and you're going to business in that market, know what you're actually talking about. Know what you're actually um, maneuvering. How you're going to maneuver it, especially if you're investing money in it. You need to know the angles of the situation before you can actually deal what you want to deal. And then you need to make the calculated risk to make sure this is viable for you. And obviously, um, stonking. Maybe his family's rich. I don't know, but stonking thirty grand on eighty pairs of big red boots. That's crazy. 
crazy. Because you, you don't know what they're going to do. Well, I know what from... And logistically speaking, when you could tell what the resale is going to do on the sneaker, um, but for that, I would never predict that because that that is crazy because you don't know what it's going to do in the long run. That's a pre-release flip. Yeah, if you can get that them before they come out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because they retail for uh, three sixty-five, and that ain't going. Yeah, three sixty-five. <laughs> That's a big loss. You take 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 StockX commit or take. Take anybody's commission out of that. You're you're done. It's done. It's done. Pretty not much. Only, not only do you do you not make anything, but you lose sixty five dollars eighty times. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good investment, yeah. bro. Invest yeah. thirty grand, get twenty grand back. <laughs> that, Yo, that's, a, that's a deep one. I tell you that's what, deep. bro. Now just investor don't miss. Yay! I, I saw. I, you, you basically brought this up the other. You brought Bro. this up. You brought this up the other day or yesterday, and I didn't realize. I did not realize this. This actually went on. Not a Sylvester. Um, the Not a Sylvester Foundation not only is uh, giving back, you know, with bikes because you know, of course, he's Not a Sylvester, the bike guy. Yeah, uh, pro athlete extraordinaire. Not a Sylvester. Uh, Sneaker collaborator extraordinaire, not a Sylvester. My ring alarm is going off on camera. <laughs> um, his uh foundation, uh, in collaboration with JP Morgan and Chase, started mm-hmm. a financial literacy program. Um, it's a one month program at a high school, bunch of kids get to participate, uh, seniors. Um, getting ready to make that transition, you know what I'm saying? And you yeah, know, yeah. get some, some education on uh, different aspects of finance and get to kick it with the great, man. That's beautiful. That, 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 that deserves a round of applause, bro, because that, that, that's, that's absolutely beautiful to see because um, it's excellence. That's just excellence, bro. There's nothing more you can say about it because basically it's like you you are helping other people on the route to their own journey on their own in in, in their life. And that's mm-hmm. all that and from being in a privileged position like Nigel Sylvester is and for an athlete he is, he's doing a lot of good things. We saw the bike race the other week. We saw we saw him like giving back to, uh, even even like I love it when I hear pro about like the Virgil Foundation, all of that stuff is awesome. Uh, even like the uh, the Kobe Foundation, all of that is awesome. All of that, all that stuff is awesome. You're, you're giving, con- con- contributing back to the community and helping people excel. It's always awesome to see, bro. 100%. Yeah, man. Nigel, um, Nigel's the best, man. What you got? You, you have some, you have some other topics over there, didn't you? Um, well, it, it depends on what we, it depends, depends because recently, um, I think we maybe basically got through most of them. We were, there's a big one we're going to talk about in a bit, but, um, have you seen, if you live in the UK and EU, you probably noticed something interesting on the sneakers app recently because they've been doing this, bro. This is picks of the week. Um, basically, it's a little bit of a novel. I think it's a novelty thing that Nike is running at the moment. And every week recently, for the last two weeks, they've actually done pick of the week. A couple of weeks back, they did the Air Jordan 1 pick of the weeks. And where they, sh- they, where they kind of redropped some releases like this, bro. And you'll be interested to know because they did actually drop the Voodoo 1 low the neutral gray one lows the 85 black and white highs um the gorge greens um the stealths um at the uh, beach oh, corals taxi. the heritage ones the taxis bro they sold out so mo- like like i say only the stealths and maybe the heritage stood around for a little while but majority of the other sneakers sold out and this was this happened randomly on a wednesday at 2 p.m hmm. last week they did this the pick of the week Air Jordan 4s, bro. And they brought back the Zen Masters, the, Stel- uh, the I think the, um, the Craft 4s, uh, the Canyon Purples, and then the Midnight Navy's full family size one. And that came out, that came out 1 p.m. last week. So, I'll tell you what's going on. We get, um, <clears throat> what do they call it? What do they? I can't remember exactly what they call it right now, but periodically we get um, the same treatment from sneakers. Yeah, it, they'll drop a bunch of fours, 
at the same time and a bunch of dunks at the same time on different pages. Like you open this one page and it's all fours or like it might be fours and ones that came Mm -hmm. out the last seven, eight months. And then they'll do another reserve. That's what it is. Join the reserve and then there's a dunk reserve. Yeah, that's a bit different to us. There's there's never any other type of Nike reserve. It's always dunk reserve. And then there's join the reserve. Join the reserve I, might be a bunch of ones. It might be a bunch of threes. But it's always a bunch of the same shoe. Most of the time, it's a bunch of the same silhouette. And by the way, sorry. I have to apologize. This has happened before. I now I know where this has happened. Okay. I got my space jam. I, I got my space jam elevens like this because on randomly on one like in 2017, 2016 this is when the space jams came out. 2017 in the winter time is when they dropped this the re re released the space jams. I was able to cop my pair, right? That happened, um, and this it happened similar to this where it just dropped and you was able to go in and purchase it if you were quick enough. It was first come first serve. This this um, pick of the week has happened before. And they're reintroducing it, so that had, so if you see the trend, this happened. This, they might we really have another couple of weeks where they do pick of the week, but it's something that they're doing. We might see Jordan fours next. No, might Jordan see Jordan threes next. Might see dunks next. Might see a lot of variations next. So let's just see what happens with that. They'll do it with fives. Yeah. <clears throat> um, like the silhouettes that don't drop that much, like sevens or maybe nines. They'll mix yeah. them up together, or they might yeah, 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 yeah. mix up. Um, Say the Cardinals and uh, the Citrus, uh, they'll mix them, throw them in with three pairs of ones. You know, yeah, what I'm yeah, exactly they, that, bro. They do, bro. This would they, and this, this. I think this is y'all's version of uh, reserve. our reserve. Yeah, potentially, but it's good because basically, it's like, this just lets you guys know that sneakers don't sell out. They don't sell out. They still, no. they do. There's always gonna be sneakers about. Uh, watch out, sneakers about. <laughs> But even, yeah, there's always even gonna be collabs, about. even collabs, because you know we we know collabs. They get even the the re releases on the collabs be limited too, but they yep, do yep, happen. Yep, yep, right. yep exactly. I, I, I expect to see that Travis Scott um, Olive Low again. Yep, restock, potential restock. All right, last quick strike that we're gonna do for this today. It is, um, bro. Nike's on a good wave, bro. They stop ninety eight percent of bots every month, bro. Every 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 day, every, every time they do a raffle, ninety eight ninety eight percent. That's twelve million bot, twelve billion bot entries, bro. I'm gonna buy it too, huh? Apparently, you are. Did they block you for being a bot? <laughs> they might have will. At least that's suspicious activity. Uh, but yes, um. So if you calculate that what? correctly, because I keep trying to enter. You know what? Go ahead, bro. <laughs> yeah. Because because Q's a bit Q's, Q's on it now because I I know you're upset with with what happened over the last couple of weeks. But yeah, um, let me let me just be let me just be honest, right? I, that you know what? It's quite successful that you can stop ninety eight percent of bots, right? Out of twelve billion that enter per month. But if you really put the facts together and the calculations together, if that sub, if that fact and figure is true, two two percent of bots go through. Two percent of 12, 12 billion is two hundred and forty million bot entries, bro. Two hundred and forty million bot entries. It's probably more bots entering than humans. This that, is put that, in, that that is crazy figure. That's the point of bots, though. It's it, it's it's like winning the lottery, bro. So picking up a sneaker on the sneakers app is literally like winning the lottery. You're one in two hundred forty <laughs> million no, and more. one more. More, because that's no, just yeah, that's just a box, bro. Let's add that in total with everybody else. You that is like yo, bro. If you win on the sneakers app from now on, you won the lottery, bro. <laughs> Depend, depending on what it is, depending on what the release is, is anywhere from five hundred thousand to a few that's million people entering the sneakers. Crazy, app bro. Yeah, so so every time you try to for that Travis Scott. And by the way, um, Nike did say and. Nike did say the statistic fact is that the Travis Scott is the most entered sneaker in the history of the sneakers app. Like every single release. Yeah, bro. Trying to now you know why cap. you can't hit a sneaker. Cap, 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 cap. You reckon? Cap. cap. I, I'm gonna say the lost and found was. 
lost and found. We just yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna say that it happened twice. It happened twice, yep. and yep, the, the Travis Scott raffles are always hectic. They always um, a little messy, but it ain't never been as bad as this. But the statistical fact is that what Nike said or what what's come out from the actual sneakers up analysis yeah. is the fact that the yeah. Travis Scott is the most. Why couldn't Why couldn't I enter the Spider Man raffle? <laughs> that's a good question bro that's a good question um there, there have been technical difficulties i think because a lot of people are aware that sneakers out you know what it is i'm gonna put it back down to what i originally said a couple of months ago or a year ago is when going into the future going into sneakers out, sneakers in, in in the next couple of years we'll be in situations where the sneakers out is inundated on releases that we know we're going to have money there's going to be resale on money on and the sneakers that don't sell out is going to be just gr sneakers and we're seeing that now bro like every collaboration is absolutely hyped the chicago lost and found was crazy i would say i was quite surprised with that the spider-man uh across the culture across the spider-verse is is another sneakers got resale on it's going to go crazy um we're talking about travis scott's that's crazy everyone every bot is geared up for those big releases they don't care about just uh, another Jordan 5 releasing or a Palomino 1 releasing or Palomino 3 releasing or a Burgundy 5 releasing those are going to be sneakers especially in the UK and EU those are the sneakers that are going to sit they're just geared up for the big releases and this is why every time there's a big release the sneakers app is failing on us we can't enter there's difficulties it loses data you can't enter you have to go back out go back in go back out go back in mm -hmm. that that situation is amplified by the fact that everybody is geared for the big releases and that's the situation as we speak and this is why the sneakers app is the sneakers app and it's failing us on the big releases you saw it last week thunders i don't know how, what happened with the thunders but uh, across the across the spider versus gone no no that, chance that, that shot drop was it wasn't lost and found level bad but it was so frustrating bro yeah so so frustrating man like i i feel like i feel like i got duped you know what i'm saying <laughs> like, i don't i don't know what this this new system they got man is is horrible bro just nope. just I, it and may, maybe it's a recency bias because I'm so used to the, the way it was. I could I could appreciate the way it was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Because I knew what what it looked like. I understood what was going on when something was going on. And it was it really wasn't this bad. When you couldn't enter, you couldn't enter. And yeah, it was frustrating. But now they got you jumping through hoops. They got this new screen where they're telling you um, if you're if you're a bot, the bots. Yeah, they trying to figure out if you like. Come on, bro. I've, I've been spending hundreds of dollars with thousands of dollars a year with y'all. Can, can, I can I tell you? Can I tell you one or two things? Right, like I heard a couple of people that have been blocked blocked by the bot system, and they've been regular human beings like that's literally this what i'm saying bro and this that's the way it made, that's the way it made me feel i didn't get notified that i was being blocked but i felt like i was because i didn't feel like i ever really entered you know what i'm saying you, it, it was it was like you like gandalf on the you did like sneakers up his gandalf on the cliff and you're the dragon you shall not enter that's it right. bro. <laughs> look the first the first time i felt like i entered because it gave me the little screen i hit okay and it showed me pending and yeah. then it came back to um I I, I let my phone close. And yeah, yeah. a few minutes later I opened my phone back up and it's uh showing me the price again. But okay. it didn't tell me your size sold out or nothing like that. Okay. So I went back that's in. I went back mm -hmm. in and from oh. that point forward, I never got a, an official entry. It just kept showing me the price. It never told me pending again. Even and after showing was, me, for, after showing Raffles me, the, though, yeah. No, this was a re a regular release. Shock oh yeah, block. that happens. That that happens, bro. Like literally, they pairs restock and go away. Restock and go away. Look, it always happens people, down here. I'm I'm on Twitter and people saying they got thirty minute Ws. 
And I tried from I tried from six minutes in till like it, it's it finally said sold out on every side, maybe 40 minutes, 30, 45 minutes after the drop. That's crazy. And I, I tried from from six minutes into it until it said sold out. That's crazy. That's that's absolutely crazy. Yeah. I, I, so, I, I don't know. I don't know what is wrong with the sneakers app. It is acting funny, bro. Definitely acting funny recently. Um, ever since they introduced the bot system, I reckon as well, because basically that mm-hmm. that's kind of exaggerated the situation in itself. Because like they, it's doing its checks. Once it's doing its checks, you're you're unaware of what what it's doing, and all of a sudden, I've like I said, a couple of people have been blocked from that system, bro. A lot of people. Yo, like some people. The developers on the sneakers app are like shade tree mechanics. Yeah. Fix something, break something. So, <laughs> so, so y'all keep y'all have y'all gonna have to keep coming back to me to constantly fix something. So you have, to, you have to keep that yin, you have to keep that yin and yang, bro. You have to keep it's, that yin and yang. It's job security, bro. That's what it is. <laughs> it's straight up job security. We gonna fix the app in one way. And make Create it a better. job for yourself. We go. We gonna break something that that you ain't gonna notice for two months, and then you're gonna be oh no, this is. <laughs> Call such and such. Hey, get him over here. He gonna fix that and break something else. It's called it's called keeping keeping yourself in the job. It's creating yeah, your own job. job. Security, yeah, of course. <laughs> Tell me. That would be so that, Somebody over there at, at the sneakers app is is really practicing job security in a big way. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. But that that was a quick strikes for today. I've got one question for you, bro. And this is what, something I was thinking about so this week. Do you value sneakers more if you find it harder to pick up the sneakers? Or ha- or is it be- is it about the, um, the the capital that you pick up the sneakers with or, or the frequency? Or is it just because you love the sneakers? That, that's, the, that's the question for today. Do you value sneakers more if you, ha- if you find it harder to pick up? It doesn't matter if it was like a really high collaboration. If you have to go out your way to pick up a sneaker, do you remember it and like it more than it is? Or if you haven't got like if you are if you're struggling to pick up a sneaker from back in the day and you now you can pick it up and you're like, oh damn, I remember when I couldn't afford it back in the day and it, well, or you have to kind of save for it and you're like, all right, cool, I've saved this much money. I want this sneaker so badly, and then you go and get it. Do you, like where does your value for a sneaker come from? It's it's all of the above, bro. To be honest yeah. with you. Um because well, okay, cool. A better question. In what situation have you been where you had to pick up like the most epic sneaker that you really wanted, but it was really hard to get? And then when you when you pick picked up, you're like, you know what? I appreciate this sneaker even more than I actually did when I actually wanted it. Well, I'm on my year three. Oh, um, I can say the same thing for um, the Diamond Turf uh, '96 too. Yeah. Um the I'm on my yeah for different reason. Uh also I can say I okay, I give you three. Yep, uh, yeah. I'm on my year three because it's the first I'm on my year joining retro. Um it's arguably the best Jordan three collab. Um mm-hmm. And one of the best, I think, one of the best Jordan threes in general. I don't know if I want to put it over the black cement or the white cement, but it's uh, right there. It's um, right there. Uh, this is what I said to. This is what I keep saying. Um, I, I do put it over the fire red, though. Yeah, it's it's over the fire red to me. It's the third. Uh, I, it's at least the third best Jordan three ever. I keep, I keep, I keep saying it's it's the best Jordan three outside of OGs. This is that's why I'm going to keep that same energy. I, okay, I do, okay, okay. I, I, I do, I do, I do believe every every one of those is um great. I like the, the true blues, the fire reds, the white cements, and then the uh, black cement threes are dope, dope sneakers. They got yeah. too much history. They got too much history to just ignore like that. But the what the white cement, that's the white cement, no, that I remember in year three, yeah, yeah. So, so you only. Only one, only one sneaker can think that competes with that is probably a Dawn Becker free bro as well. I mean, it's one of the greatest Jordans 
I'm on my yeah. year three. One of the greatest Jordan retros. One of the greatest Jordan sneakers of all time, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I, I, by the way, by the way, I got to say, E, if you're listening to this, what you said on Instagram live the other day, yeah, I, we have got to have words. He said he said he doesn't rate Adam and Manier free as, as much as we do. Okay. He, does does he have it? No. Exactly. So, um, <laughs> but he seen it. No disrespect at all. Um, the D, the, the Diamond Turf ninety six. Um, I love Air Max for one. It's to me, it's one of the dopest Air Max of all time. It's very, it, it's very underrated to me. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I ain't even gonna grab it. It's very underrated to me. Um, I talked about it before when I first got it uh, a few weeks back. Yeah, just yeah. the attachment to Deion Sanders, his attachment to Atlanta Sports, you know. So um his his first two sneakers, no, first three sneakers rather. Not not so much the second one, the first one and the third one. Yeah. Um the, you know, trainer, all that. Um and this the Jordan Four Sashiko, to me, that's the rarity piece. Because it was super hard to get. I had to wake up at three o'clock in the morning to get it. Ooh, that's that's it yeah. That, that was was release. that was that from was that from China? Or? No, um, it shipped from Taiwan. Okay, it's one of those. No, no, I can't. I can't remember. But I got it from um, BSTN. Okay. Yeah. So the release, um, BSTN is Great Britain, right? Or is it Germany? No, BST, Germany, Germany, Germany. Germany. BSTN is Germany. It was a um, it was a live release, first come, first serve, online release, um, U.S. shipping. So, yeah. I um, the release in in my time, it was uh, three o'clock in the morning. So I got up at like two forty five in the morning, got on my computer, had my phone ready. And that's how I caught my Sashiko uh, Jordan Four. Damn, that's what you call dedication. So that's that's what makes everything um, good. Let's just say that stuff, stuff like that is when you can do stuff like that. It yeah, absolutely is phenomenal because basically, it just just it's so special. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I mean it's the stories, bro. Like. I know, and I haven't been doing this uh, nearly as long as some of the people that um, we know. You know, the, uh, the guys like Cam and Miller, and yeah, uh, it's I appreciate, I appreciate um, the people that are considered OGs in the sneaker space. Mm-hmm. Um, but my story is my story, so I, I'm. You have to, everybody has to appreciate their own story. And I know some people do. Um, it's, it's, it could feel, it could feel a little crazy sometimes when you, when you're looking at what other people got and you're trying to catch up or you, you, yeah. um, you, you, you feel uh, less than, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But every now and then, every now and then you see, you see, the sneakerhead that got a, just a bunch of stuff that they love that, that ain't nobody even thinking about, and they they smiling and talking like they got the greatest collection in the world. That's what it's about. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what that, that's definitely what it's about. Uh, let me let me just let me just um reiterate what you just said there. Um, I kind of I kind of have to say, um, that for me it's not a race. It's not a marathon. It's 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 something that you love and you want to do. And I've, and for for me personally, I feel like it's that that's always going to be the, the situation. And I think if you if you're always competing, I think you get lost in you do get lost in the source and lost in the fact that what you love is now diluted to something that you need to kind of keep up with. And I and I, and I think that's the problem in general with the sneaker game itself. That is just. What what's expected when you come into this game? Like you have to keep up, you have to get this, you have to get that, and a lot of people around you say, will say to you, "Oh, you what? What about this? And what about that? Why are you not picking up this? Why are you not picking up that?" But it kind of takes it time, kind of takes away from the origin of what you really love about being a sneakerhead. If you get what I mean, 
It, it, like rather than you say, okay, cool, maybe I, I don't like that, but because I, 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 I want to get that because that person likes that. You kind of come into that narrative. It depends on the person you are, by the way. Not everybody's like this. Um, but I, I would like to say we're not like this because we just get what we want because we love what we want. See what I'm saying? Otherwise, we won't pick up the sneakers that we picked up. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, basically, I, I think I do feel the masses end up for it end up being pigeonholed into a crowd of people that they think they need to keep up with and unfortunately that's the case with being a sneakerhead and that's the case of being a new sneakerhead because you want to start picking up sneakers that other people pick up you want to pick up the the sb pine greens or you want to pick up sneakers that um like even the travis scott's or, or stuff like that you get so wrapped up in it even though you might not like it you end up saying you like it because somebody else likes it. And I think when you come to that point of being a sneakerhead, you really got to reevaluate that's, the meaning of being a sneakerhead. That's not a sneakerhead thing though. That's a, yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a that's a that's a human thing. Yeah, that's, that's a human that's it that's a definitely a human thing. That's a human narrative. But yeah. unfortunately unfortunately this sneaker game that we talk about and love so much has is toxic at the same time to that point where people will end up doing stuff that they don't normally do because they want to impress the people they're surrounded by. Bro, it's toxicity and everything, man, because yeah. all these characteristics that we speak about um, in these cultures and subcultures, they're all human characteristics that you can find in in. in any and every culture and subculture, you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> so exactly that. Um, um, the, the, the mob mentality. You know what it is? Is is the old saying of uh, mob mentality of basically? Remember when um gl- the gladiators were in the actual uh, that arena and they were fighting? Everybody just join in because it's mob mentality, and that's even like with bro, uh, with sports nowadays. Check this out, man. You're, that, you're part that ain't, of a tribe. No, that ain't, that ain't that ain't what we represent. Um, no, over here. Check it, check it out. Shout out, um, shout out to my partner Jimmy. Two quick little anecdotes, right? Shout out to Jimmy, shout out to Terrell. Um, Terrell, I made him at the job. During COVID, you know, people started around the job, started finding out that I collect sneakers. Um, I do YouTube, blah, blah, blah. So um People started approaching me. Hey, can you help me get these? Can you help me get those? I remember selling Terrell the DMP sixes. That was the first yep. shoe he bought from me. From that point forward, when Terrell wanted a shoe, he would come to me. Yep, yep, yep. Now, Terrell texts and calls me when he has more than one of whatever the sneaker just came out of. Okay. We were the same size. Okay. Friends with benefits. <laughs> so Sneaker Terrell, benefits. Terrell learned the game, you know. Terrell cool, he always been solid. He ain't never flating on me. He ain't never um he ain't never did nothing wrong as far as our relation when it comes to sneakers and you know developing a uh, friendship. So Shout out to Terrell. Jimmy, same situation. Mm-hmm. The other night, um, happy birthday, 99 too. We was at um, my boy's birthday celebration Friday night, and Jimmy came to me. I helped Jimmy get um, the Moonlight Fives. Yeah. And you know how we feel about the Moonlight slash Oreo Fives, right? Yeah. With that in mind, this man said to me, he had the fives on one day and some dude offered him 350 for them. He sold them, yeah? No. He said he told the guy, I I can't sell these because my boy got them for me. Oh, okay. That's 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 respect. Bro, <laughs> I'm like, I'm 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 looking at him like I'm thinking to myself, Moonlight Five? But it ain't about the shoe to him. It's about the the assist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he cares yeah. more that I helped him get that shoe than he does about the shoe itself. That's that's the same way I feel about the rebellion there. That that rebellion there that you you got. I would never sell that. 
that exactly. first of all first of all it's an awesome sneaker second of all you helped me with that sneaker so i would never in a million years think about even getting rid of that bro that 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 will be coming out this full time on my feet bro because like, I'm, i don't need to wear it for a special occasion but that sneaker is dope 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 sneaker i don't want and my, I, re- I, I love it want my, like three four times yeah i love it even more because you helped me get that but i'm defeated right so stuff like that bro that's that's yeah. what it's about man. that's what it's about so like the, the moral of the story is don't get lost in the sauce make sure you make the own sauce you're the chef of your own story you're the hero of your own story you make the own story for yourself and you are actually in control of your life in terms of being the sneaky kid make your choices do your thing and don't let anybody else tell you otherwise bro. Wow. that's the main factor but yes main subject we, we went off one we went off on one just a little bit. It was good though. It was a good conversation to have. Um, main subject today, bro. Main subject today. What is it? Nike SB chooses violence. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, saw this. I saw this and I laughed, bro. So Nike SB is tired of having their sneakers leaked. And they decided to go at this one account. Instagram account in the comments. So imagine getting Master the opportunity Chief. to create a dunk only to have a, an account named Master Chief Ian leak Master it Chief with, Ian, yeah. with no Chief context Ian. to the story. <laughs> I actually followed Master Chief Ian after that. <laughs> that I was great publicity. <laughs> I, don't, I don't blame um, like it is B for this. Yeah, the the Crankshaw Skate Club um, SB, uh, I I like it. I think it's dope. It looks dope to me personally. But this is this is the first looks. Obviously, um, I like the fact he said world's world's first look into the in hand. So uh, all caps, all caps. He knows he was capping with that picture as well because uh, yeah, that's that's uh, interesting. What do you think about that situation, bro? Because there's, I've got a lot of questions for you on that. I wonder if. Um... Whoever's in charge of Nike SB social media account had to check with somebody before they uh, replied in the comments. I think they did. Obviously, or, they did. or, if, or if it, it was just, it was just straight smoke on site. Like, <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm sick, sick of, of it. it. <laughs> <laughs> enough. <laughs> enough is enough. I can't this believe time, my sleep. I will have my revenge. <laughs> 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 oh, Nike's coming for you. Like, <laughs> you imagine, uh, imagine, hey. it's, yo, bro, you're sitting there with all the power in the world. Like, I, I've got this Nike SB account and I'm going to start typing soon. <laughs> all that power, bro. All that power for one person. Damn, bro. I ain't mad, though. I ain't mad. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure this guy um, is pretty excited about having the official Nike SB account comment on his post. Even though his post, uh, it looked like it's it's pretty popular bro, already. It backfired because as soon as Nike SB tweeted that, everybody started following him. <laughs> I mean, listen, whether whether or not um, they care, I, I, can I, I can I say something quickly? Can I, can I say something care. quickly? This, I I just like the clap. I like the clap back. No, it's not even a clap back, really. It's it's, shot it's a semi clap back. It's it's, it's shots shot fired. Yeah, it's it, it's shots fired. Grazed grazed ankles. But um, basically, um, what if I'm gonna throw a what if situation to you? What if this guy is actually the one that leaked the pictures, and Master Chief in his second account, and he wants to to go popping. So he's <laughs> done the early pictures of the Crankshaw Skate Club SB Low. And then he's like, yo, this guy's leaked the sneakers. Can I reply back and mention him? Nike's like, yeah, do it. And then he's like, right, cool. More followers for me. More followers for me. <laughs> you know, you know I'm what just doing. saying. You know what he's doing right now? What's he doing right now? 
Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm just saying, and that will be the ultimate, ultimate. Because, like, let's be honest, who leaks sneakers pictures like this if you don't have the sneakers into hand? It's always easy for somebody in the factories to leak them, and so easy for somebody from Nike SP to leak them. But yeah, that clapback was quite funny. And especially if you're mentioning somebody, you're bringing attention to that account anyway, bro. Because when Nike, when Nike tweets a uh, account name, name that's, that's getting followed. See what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And especially if this guy is giving you early pictures, that's getting followed, bro. See what I'm saying? So from that perspective alone, that that either backfired or was a master plan. One of the two, I'm saying. Yeah, no. yeah <laughs> it's, it's highly plausible, bro. Highly plausible. And this, this, is, this is why you have to watch all the angles. Carlito's Way is the best movie in the world for that. <laughs> I ain't, I, ain't seen, I ain't seen Carlito's way in years. I, I need to. I need to. Yeah, it, it, Al, Al Pacino's whole um, narrative on that movie is so good. Like the fact that he kind of the kind of like he goes into yeah, I I kind of got the diluted in this world. I can't see all the <coughs> angles no more. Yo, bro, that that's watching every move, and it's always yeah. it's very important to watch every move. And don't even leave a question of doubt on something because that could actually potentially be true. <laughs> To be honest so so from that perspective this is great but um on that matter because we have this situation so my question to you is is it okay to leak sneaker pictures i mean that's the way of the game right now yeah but does it does it spoil the release though that's the thing does it, like for, for you does it get you more excited and anticipated for the release or does it is it like Oh man, this boy. Like for me, when I see, like, I'm going to give you an example the Burgundy Fives. For me, when I got announced and the pictures got shown, because we've seen the pictures before of the sneaker anyway, that made me like, yo, I'm amped. I, I, think, it, I think it just brings anticipation, bro. That's, that's different, though. I, I think that's different because um, it's a re retro. Yeah. So we already know what the sneaker looked like. It's already out there in the world. Whether or not it's going to be, um, you know, the shape. It's going to be different or the color is going to be different or whatever. That's that's the that's the only part about re-retros that we really wonder about. Because when um, we first got news of the Burgundies coming back, um, it was all old pictures. Yeah. So um, the only thing that we needed to see about was the shape and the color. And now we got the official pictures, which is which is I love when it's official. We talk about yep. that all the time with mock-ups and, and um, leaks. We love to see the official. That's going to always be the case. Um, when, as far as leaks are concerned, um, with this, like this SB leak, this is a brand new one-of-a-kind colorway. So we don't have anything to, to base it off of. It's like a legit check. No. Yep. When is, when is, you can't legit check this sneaker because it ain't out there already. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So when when you think about it from that perspective, it, it, I just I just want to see it official, bro. Yeah, yeah. I I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. It depends on the it depends on a couple of factors. I think depends on the sneaker. Depends on the collaboration. Depends on um the the silhouette. I reckon is all. So with the colorway, the sneaker silhouette, all of that, it depends on that. Um, so when you're talking about early pictures of um sneakers, it's sometimes good. Um, so let's take two examples. The Jordan 1 Union, that sneaker, it was good to get early pictures of. Because if, so if they'd shown you the sneaker on the release date, I don't think, no, that, I think that sneaker would have sat. I think that sneaker would be, everybody's reaction would have poor people getting that sneaker. Now, when, when you want to grow anticipation and hype for a sneaker, that's the prime example of what you do with it. You kind of leak it for, leak it like months and months ahead of schedule and then let the hype build and let the people get used to the sneaker, especially if it's radically different. And then like let, let that grow and then people start to get used to it, send some on, send some on feet pictures, like official pictures. We're talking, these, these, the union is more, is more like an official picture, but They've done it in a way where it seems like it's a leak and it's making people love that sneaker more. And then you change your mind over time. A lot of people are having the same kind of influence on that sneaker. With The more they see it, the more they get used to it, the more they love it because it's like, oh, damn, now I can get used to it and kind of can get behind it. But if that sneaker released on release date, that would do really badly. So that I, I that's a strategy and I, I love that strategy. But when you see early pictures like this, um, 
as when when you see pictures from like especially with the thunders with the white like the white lacing or white lining or white like white sold a uh, toe at the front that 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 situation was more of a leak from the factories and a lot of people had some bad repertoire from it but I, I obviously you know you know what we think about it or what I think about it is the fact that I think that was UAs that they kind of got wrong or they just kind of or Nike brand just putting off the new UAE people um, but or the UA factories, but like for when you talk about silhouettes, you could take the same thing and say with a Jason Tatum sneaker, that was not meant to happen, and that brought very bad negative light to his sneaker. See what I'm he saying? I think he just light to it. He See, did because he what, of what he said. Of what he but said. You, but what you what you're doing is we we can't really generalize it. Because it's it depends on the situation every time. It depends on the situation every Some, time. Sometimes it's sometimes it's right and we don't know it. Sometimes it's wrong and we do know it. Sometimes this is exactly what we're getting. Sometimes we ain't getting nothing like this. Yeah, and we exactly. get mad when we when we when it's wrong. No matter what the circumstances are, whether we like what's wrong or we don't like what's wrong. Or we like was was right, or don't like was right. It's, yep. it's a case by the, case basis. <laughs> like like the airship, like the airship. Uh, I'm a mini airship, and the uh, what do you call it? Every every was it everyone? Or was every that new game. one? Uh, every game, sorry, every game. I can't, I don't know why I forgot. Every game airship it basically is a sneaker that they don't need much hype on, bro. They just it, it's 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 here. In a couple of months' time, it's coming out. But then sneakers that 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 are collaborations, or even though that's a collaboration, sneakers that need the hype is there because they just show early pictures and they grow the anticipation. And I do believe, like with certain silhouettes and certain uh, certain factors with silhouettes, it just brings more anticipation and hype to the sneaker. So the likelihood of it selling out is way more. I don't think it spoils the story of the sneaker. At all, I, and to be honest, this Crenshaw um, Skate Club sneaker is dope. I think it's dope. I, I think early pictures show it's dope. Maybe not the official pictures. Maybe in the, the like ESB are a bit annoyed the fact that this just got shown early that they don't want it to show it early, and the fact that it's there and people know what it looks like now because they want it to be a surprise. But I don't think it takes away it takes anything away from the sneaker. To be honest. It, it is what it is, bro. <laughs> it is what it, it, like. Would you be unhappy if you never saw this? No. Would you be happy if you saw this? Yeah. I I, at least I know what it looks. Like. Hey. I don't. I'm not interested in it anyway, so it don't matter to me. Exactly. Exactly. But people, the people that will like it will like it, and if it's if it's going to build up the anticipation with the hype for the sneaker, it does. Uh, I, I, I just, the clapback was interesting to me. Uh, I just feel. Leaks. I I feel a lot of people live for leaks and pictures and anticipate, but I can all I can understand the other side of the coin, and that being now this sneaker picture is out there. The UAs are ready, and that's the flip side to the coin. Even though it's a sneaker community, we want to see for early pictures and mock-ups and pitch and um, what we think is going to be the release of the sneaker. The problem with this situation, and which I didn't think of until this right, right this moment in time, we know the UAs get a picture, manufacture, and put House of Heat on the side of it with a logo. We know that happens. We know the, we know recently the UAs have produced two Jordan 4 SBs that aren't even the colorways that are coming out because they're anticipating what might release from the color blockings and stuff like that. I'm just saying, bro. Now this picture is out. I can understand why they don't want leaked pictures because now the UAs are on top of it. They're still UAs, though. So yeah, they're still UAs. But but the thing is, the the, the problem with the problem with this situation is once the sneakers ready to go, the UAs are probably caught up to the point where they are actually no difference between the two sneakers. And that's the problem we've seen with the Travis Scott with Jordan One Moko highs. We saw that. The early pictures are good for the community, but early pictures are bad for the actual business in in total. Like because you're 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 always fighting bots in UAs, bro. And unfortunately, that we always gonna be fighting bots in UAs, and this doesn't look great. It is what it is. It is what it is. But yeah, great great sneaker. What do you think of the sneaker in general, though? That's okay. It ain't for me. Not for you. No. Nah. Crenshaw, yeah, we're, we're, we're about to Crenshaw. Is that LA? Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Next main subject, bro, and this one's an interesting one. This is just when you thought it was safe to come back to the streets. Yay's back. And um, what do you want to say about this situation? Like this, okay, cool. First of all, first of all, first of all, there's three attributes to this main story. Number one, Adidas being sued by the investors for handling and the knowledge they knew about Kanye West for the whole situation. They've been sued by the stakeholders, investors. What's that? What's your thoughts on that, bro? Uh, I don't know. That's 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 just another another legal situation that um, we're going we're going to get more information on later down the line. So I, I ain't even really interested in that, to be honest with you, because Adidas got so, enough going on already. So yeah. they're just, they're the just reason, hot water for them. The reason why I say this is because it ties back into the two stories that happened as well alongside this. Number one, the, I, the thing that they, I think they lost 441 million last year um, in revenue because of cool. the Yeezy brand. Um, for, for the the details from that court case of the investors that are suing, um, the, the, the investors that are suing Adidas at the moment in time, they said that they claimed that Adidas knew about Kanye's situation and the, him being bipolar, him being, or, or some of the anti-Semitic comments he was making since 2018. They said they regard this as the mismanagement of the actually Yeezy brand, including Kanye West, and therefore they want to they want to sue Adidas because they knew way before the situation escalated in 2022 but also Adidas did say that they deny any claim of this anyway so that that's going to be an interesting thing to see what happens from that do you think the investors are upset about the situation or the fact that now Adidas are losing 441 million last year <laughs> obviously they have said about the money bro yeah the other stuff man these people playing with all these these millions and, and billions of dollars they don't care about public perception and none of this stuff. These people are not mm-hmm. famous. They're just rich. That's the difference. Mm-hmm. Well, when you're dealing with in- investors that have uh, money tied up in billion-dollar companies, we never know their names. When we talk about controversies, we don't hear about them. We hear about them when um, when they go bankrupt or when yep. some is corruption going on or whatever they never we we rarely get all the way to the top or even go outside to people that might be attached to something if we always deal with the people that's inside the company the people that's running the yeah. company the people that's um attached to the company like kanye so this is about money bro it's all that's yeah. all it's about. Um, I, I, and I, think, I think it's it's about money for kanye at this point too yeah, I, it's really interesting because basically the court case comes straight after or straight alongside this situation where the losses were reported. So that that for me dictates that, yeah, they were upset with the situation that um, Kanye was, oh, well, the, the usual situation with Adidas. So they basically said, right, cool, you lost us money. Now we want to retract some of that money from your business and we're going to sue you. I think that's what, that's what, the, that's whole, that's the whole situation. It's always about money, always about money. But, um, off the back of that, bro, Kanye West opened up a Yeezy store in Melrose next to Adidas. Troll one. Well, I, is is this a store? Yeah, apparently. I think I think this store was uh, in development or it was already a thing before all uh, the controversy happened. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. But but this is what leads me to call Kanye the troll because on the same day, Kanye had a, a, an exhibition for Yeezy. On the same day, Adidas, we were in court with their investors. That's trolling, bro. Right next to Adidas store in Melrose as well. If you yeah. can't troll any better than that, and what what I'm gonna say is Adidas, you just been teased, bro. You've been teased by Yeezy, bro. That's all I'm saying. Cause damn, that's an excellent troll, bro. You got to read for that. I mean, it's him, bro. Like, 
I said this a long time ago. Many it's episodes definitely ago. You. It's definitely a You bro. cannot get rid of this guy. He is going to find a way <laughs> to get back in your face regardless, bro. Like, this is the guy this is the guy <clears throat> that shows up at the most an inopportune time every time and you can't do nothing. Like it's 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 every time is is awkward, but you can't do nothing about it. It's irritating, but you can't do nothing about it. Like what they, yeah, what yeah, can yeah. they what can they do? Nothing, bro. Uh, but yeah, the, the, it, I just, bro, it's funny. The, the the whole situation to me is funny. No, this is funny. <laughs> what, what? How did I know you even saw this? The whatever these, so little, yeah, whatever these little sock shoe things are, this is funny. And and these <laughs> shirts, people talking about they high quality, bro. Watch out, bro. That, no. That's a that's a that's a two dollar gas station t shirt, bro. <laughs> that what it looked like. That what it looked like. I, I I can't front on people speaking on the quality because it does look high quality. Yeah, it looked yeah, like yeah. uh almost like dry knit, you know, probably some Egyptian cotton or something like it's, that. Something it's crazy. going to be it's going to be high quality because obviously the fact that Yeezy knows the plugs for the high quality merchandise and materials because yeah, he's been working yeah, with yeah. it. ain't about knowing the plugs, it's about having the money to pay for it, trust me. Exactly. And he's got the money to pay for it. Yeah. So um yeah, it's probably high quality, but it 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 look it I don't know what this is, bro. This is some sci-fi movie. <laughs> Uniform, space, <laughs> space cadet uniform. Yeah. Um, here. Easy got going on, bro. So, I mean, I'm not gonna shout him out. Look, look, look at this guy. He look like the type of guy that would wear that shirt. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He look, he got it for sale for 480 already. <clears throat> Easy season 10 white shirt. That's what it is. A season Easy season 10 white shirt. But Yeezy, look like you. You can knock off Yeezy, and you can you can knock him down every single time you knocked him down. He comes back three times or four times harder, and that's the problem with Kanye because he doesn't know when to stop. And that's the best thing about Kanye; he doesn't know when to stop, bro. And, he don't um, stop. Ain't no no win. No, ain't no no. He don't win. stop. It, yeah, don't ain't stop. no stop, bro. Ain't no stop. He he like Nigel for Nigel Sylvester. Um, he said the uh, the minimum speed is go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, no minimum. He said the minimum speed is fast. <laughs> you know That's crazy, bro. bro His minimum you, speed but, is fast. But you got you got to appreciate what he is as a person because at the end of the day, for me, he he emphasizes what success can be if you try it hard enough as well and this is why i respect him uh for for what he is as a person not for the fact of what he says either i respect him for what he is as a person for law there is no such there's no there is nothing as failure it's only what you make of the failure and how you learn of it to progress to, to your success because success is always down the road you will try and try and try and keep getting knocked down and you still get right back up and he's doing it he's do, he's done it through his career and he's still doing it to this point with millions and billions and that's what you got respect from him as a person and if you can take anything from this situation i would say yeah take that from him keep trying keep trying, working hard because you will get there but don't take the fact that he's um he said what he said because obviously that's terrible and he is his own self destruct one thing you can learn from <coughs> Kanye keep keep trying one thing you don't want to learn from Kanye is the self destruct button right let's be honest that's yeah, that's yeah. one thing you can learn stay. from you can definitely learn from people definitely learn from everybody but that that situation he stay pushing a big red button on himself yeah and yeah and when he presses it it's massive now. Yeah, that's the yeah. problem, man, for sure. Definitely, definitely. And unfortunately, unfortunately, it's always going to be the situation with Kanye. When he gets to the point where he's at his pinnacle, it's he's going to literally um, shoot himself in the foot. <laughs> Every time, <laughs> same way. Like, yeah. Well, um, every, every time, every time that's the situation, it's, bro. It's, 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 it's just incredible. I knew it was going to happen too. I just that's why I wanted to start talking. That's part of the reason why I wanted to start talking about him because I knew he was going to give me a reason. He was going to come back with a better reason to talk about him again. 
I'd rather talk <laughs> about stuff like this than um the last stuff he had going on. So yeah, yeah, I'm still, yeah. I'm still not gonna shout him out, but whatever. But but um <laughs> he still got his brand, the Yeezy brand. He still got okay. his brand, he still trying, got his clothes. <laughs> Yo, bro. I can I I can't Bruh. I can't say it's, I can't deny that. It's trash. I, so wait, I can't wait, wait. how long are we gonna keep going on about some trash? I'm hungry, man. Let's 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 <laughs> let's what's that? Let's 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 do what we came here to do. What we really came here to do. What we really came here to do. All right, cool, bro. Let's go. <laughs> when resale is too high. Damn resale. Hold on, hold on. When hype beats go too far. These damn hype beats. Order, order in the court, order. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for. Order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion. Team, welcome back to Sneaker Court Public Opinion with me, Judge Public Opinion and Executioner. I'm glad I got it right today. <laughs> 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 I always, for, always mess that bit up. Always do for somehow, some way. But yeah, today we got three court cases on the docket. Let me just say, um, it's going to be interesting, this one. So number one. I'm going to say in, on the docket is for all of the aspiring resellers out there, guys. Unfortunately, your time has come. Uh, and you got to go for the hyper stuff. And unfortunately, your bots are costing you too much. Your proxies are costing you too much. Um, sneakers up is cutting you out, even though 240 minutes still got through. But unfortunately, you are struggling out there. So is it worth being a sneaker? Is it worth being a reseller? That's the question. Not being a sneaker. Is it worth being a reseller because 90% of the sneakers at this moment in time are sitting so you are competing with yourselves and other people to pick up these hype sneakers and unfortunately people make mistakes people forget the situation people pick up 80 big red boots and then you lose 30 grand so on that <laughs> note sometimes it's not your thing <laughs> Sometimes you realize you're in the big league and your conference or relegation zone and um, you realize it's too late. So sometimes you need to just keep out of it, to be honest, because at the end of the day, um, resale is uh, a trend that's died after COVID. Uh, it's not there for a lot of people. A lot of sneakers are sitting, which is absolutely awesome. So if you want to invest, Get ready to lose some serious money because this is not the only situation. What was the other one, bro? The, was it a pair of Jordan fours or Jordan? Or I was Jordan ones. It was a bunch true of blues. them, bro. No, it was, it was the, the it was the uh, the true blue ones. Yeah, true blue ones. Yeah, um, yeah. infrared fours. Infrared fours. Yeah, like it was a bunch of situations. Bunch of situations. So on that note. <laughs> Don't keep your nose where it don't belong because sniffing too much of this sneaker glue got you hyper-fearing, hyper-philosophizing and um, losing your money. <laughs> 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 they already penalized, bro. Guilty! Your penalization is to take they pre, the... They pre-penalized already. What's, what's you going to put on top of it? Oh, you, all, all the thing you can put on top of it is um, take that penalty, take that fine for being um, a reseller at this time because um, you are definitely going to lose some money if you actually make the wrong investments. The stock exchange is not for you because obviously it's a complex market to get into. Just as beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next up on the sneaker court of public opinion, bro. Let me, um, let, let me call out let you call out the sneakers out, bro, because this is something that you've been annoyed about recently because you couldn't enter on the sneakers app. Apparently, the sneakers app is cutting out the bots, but you was classified as a bot. Um, are you robotic, bro? Have you got a mechanism? Have you got a battery on the back of your head that you need to charge every day? Are you AI? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, the sneakers app thought you were a bot. Um... Uh. 
Listen, man. Like I said, bro, the the, the devs over there at Sneakers app, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what? We got um, the dot swoosh, and they they doing uh, all this virtual mumbo jumbo. They got us doing, and they and we doing it because we love the brand, right? Mm-hmm. It's not working, bro. Y'all done put all these resources and spent all this money on this dot swoosh. Dot swoosh should have been the, the new sneakers. Y'all sneakers app need to go away. Sneakers app need to go in timeout. Okay. Sneakers app got a boo-boo. It's hurt. You know what I'm saying? We need to put a band-aid on the sneakers app. It need an IV. It needs some rest. It need to take a day off the sneakers app. Because mm-hmm. If y'all going to keep dropping these hype sneakers, these lost and founds, and these uh, uh, next chapters, and shock dropping the thunders, and all this 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 craziness, it need to be another way, man. It need to be another way. The sneakers out can't handle it. Every time y'all fix something, y'all break something, <laughs> we ain't never happy. I ain't never deleted the app. Nah. And I probably won't delete the app because I feel like when I don't try, it's an automatic fail. So I'm going to always try. But it's sick, yeah, yeah, yeah. nevertheless. Bro, probably 90% of the sneakers that I've bought for myself and others in the past year have been from other retailers. Mm-hmm. Or... Sneakers pass and the sneaker pass is a very, very small percentage. That, so, that's sad, that's actually sad to see because basically, um, you would expect direct to customer was going to be uh, up there for Nike. It ain't, working, uh, it, it ain't working like we thought, you know what? When we want it is the promise of being better is not there. Every time you say you're going to be better, you're going to fight the bots, you're going to go direct to customer, you're going to make sure bots don't pick up the things. Your statistics don't make value. Um, your first of all, your statistics don't make sense because 240 million people bots still getting through. Why is it not 90%, 99% or 100% that we get bots cut, cut, cut out? I, I know it's quite hard to do, but obviously there's so much, so much hype. Why don't you just make more sneakers so that you did d- d- the resale price? Because I'm pretty sure if you released a whole bunch of Travis Scott, Jordan 1 Low Mockers or Jordan 1 Low Olives or Jordan, any Jordan 1, you're, bro, they're going to sell out. They will sell out because people love Travis Scott, apparently. Hey, man. So I hate to say it, bro. They need to dead the sneakers out, man. Whether whether they got so, whether they have to try to shift it to the black and white app the way it used to be, um, mm-hmm. and until they can get something else going to replace sneakers or or re- sneakers needs of a uh, top to bottom revamp to you make know what sure it was? the systems are are in in the correct places and they are able to handle. They, y'all got too much money not to be able to handle. Do you, do you know what it is? Y'all also, y'all's own changes and quote unquote improvements that always end up making it worse somehow. This is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. It's like you know when it, it's almost like the promise is almost there, but it's not there, and it, it lets lets you down. That's what it feels like with the sneakers, are because they promise so much things, and all of a sudden for a week or two it gets better, then all of a sudden that bang, it's it's back to normal. Um, it's so like you said, it's almost like they they've created a fault because they want to come back and repair it. But uh, bro, you it's almost. It's almost like yes, you just, this is gonna happen. It's gonna get better. You, the, the false promises almost let us down so much, so that we're like, I knew this was going to happen. Whatever, and, 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 and the funny thing is, how are these cook servers and these groups knowing the fact that you're going to shock drop a sneaker at this Man. specific time? It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing new, bro. We've been, I know, bro. People, and then you delay it. Information and. You know they can they can try to do it. We talked about that already. Uh, yeah, the, they have to they have to change the app, bro. No, none of the other stuff around the cook groups or whatever they gonna always be able to find out information. That's what they do. Ain't none yeah, of that. Yeah. The the amount of people that enter the raffles that ain't got nothing to do with. It. It's gonna always be everybody trying to get the hottest sneaker. None of the the, the stuff on our side of the bargain. It's gonna change. Nope. They have to make the improvements and make them properly, so we don't have to have these type of conversations. I'm tired of talking about it. 
because it's, yeah. it's always happening. Yeah. On that note. Guilty this time for the sneakers and the Nike for basically um, not pro- not fulfilling your promises on how great the sneakers app should be and uh, making sure the sneakers app is always um, a bag of <laughs> shirts. Well, <it's- laughs> shirts. Um, but yeah, what's what's your guilty guilt sentence, bro, for that? Destroy the sneakers app. <laughs> <laughs> we need sneakers too, no, no. <laughs> And court case number three is, and, and on the third docket for today is this beautiful number, bro. Because um, this this some this is what happens when you um sleep for a little while and the delivery services don't m- want to kind of make sure they deliver the packages properly, bro. People, UPS, or FedEx are still out here, or FedEx employees are still out here checking. The box, even if it's a W, sometimes a nail. FedEx is always the final boss, bro. This needs to stop. It's been years and years of this situation. Firstly, Nike need to stop sending those Nike boxes. Because that's one bad situation anyway. And secondly, these UPS laser, sh- laser ship. FedEx, Yodel, every. When are you going to start vetting your drivers so this doesn't happen anymore? Because it um, seems like it's still happening and it's still prime, even though we don't hear about it on a regular basis. Seems like it still happens. Seems like packages still get robbed and taken. And yeah, bro. I get what they're doing. Um... With the move to zero box, but the construction on it allows for um, easy peep through. Entry. Yeah, yeah. So um, they can check. This this is this is a problem. Uh, I think you know it depends. It depends on um, where you are. There's so many. I mean, you could be anywhere in the world, and this can happen to you. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can. Um, unfortunately, the, the current climate, people are just greedy. They want to look through what you got. They want to take what you got and sell it. Um, I saw another situation where I was actually scrolling social media and somebody actually put up a post where their kids' shoes, the Dunks, Lowe's, uh, GS sizes were actually checked through. The box was open. They checked the sneakers. They put it back the sneakers yeah, because it was invaluable. Yeah, yeah, bro. This ha- this is happening more and more. A yeah. uh, cost of... Yeah. Yeah, this is the peekaboo. This is a peekaboo ICU sneaker snatchers, bro. This is sneaker snatching one one. Yeah, this this needs to stop, bro. I mean, I like I said with Nike, I understand the move to zero initiative. I understand the box um, because that box has minimal tape on it, but yeah. it's not it's not working out for us. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's definitely like you can. The, the thing is, you can spot a Nike box if you if you if it was in your van. Bro. Yeah, well first if it first it was the just do it tape and now it's yeah. these boxes. Yep. We, we, again, like just like with the sneakers app situation, they gotta figure out something different to, to come on man. Nike's taking a lot of heat I'm this done. week. I'm, but I'm done, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm Nike's <laughs> taking a lot of heat this week. But Guilty for both. I think this one goes to both Nike and the delivery agencies. Make sure you vet mm-hmm. your drivers. Make sure you know what's in. What make sure the people don't know what's in the package. Make sure you basically don't package your uh, your address and your name and your company on the on the branding because obviously people know what you are. Who know they want to take what you are. They want to sneak what you are. They want to s- peek a boo and I'll take you kind of people out there. But you know, um, please um, do better. That's all I say. But well, what's your judgment on that, bro? I don't. I... <laughs> but they, I don't, I don't know, bro. These these same companies keep ending up in court for the same things over and over, bro. We need <sighs> lessons are definitely not learned. Let's just be honest. Lessons aren't being learned from this situation. <sighs> you know what? It's. I oh, don't know. I'm done, bro. Yeah, I think I think I think it's I think it's time to suit. Let's just be honest. It's, it's coming to that point. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's t- it's time to take it out of court of public opinion and take it into the court of opinion. <laughs> 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 when resale is too high. Damn reseller. Hold up, hold up. When hype beats go too far. These damn hype beats. Order, order in the court, order. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for. Order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion. It's depressing, bro. Really, it's it's depressing. That, like with the delivery companies, is is constant, right? Because it's it's a human error thing. But with the companies, um, and it's it's really just Nike because nobody else ships in boxes like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. why why continue this when I we know they see it. We know yep, they see yep. it. The, 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 the thing the thing is the thing the thing over the, since we've been doing the podcast we've been over a year um we've seen situations where the leadership boss has been arrested he's found sneakers that were supposed to be delivered to other people in his, in his address we've seen um yodel we've seen, we've seen hermes turn to every where every package doesn't matter we've taken we've taken the mick out of them or uh, fedex have got bad reputation ups have all I've had two situations with ups myself exactly when that was that was while we've been doing the podcast the, the, like i don't understand how you don't learn and it's, and it's sad because you know what it is we're helpless to the situation and the circumstances because why do we you know what shame on you shame on you like for all the delivery agencies that the fact that people out here especially in the sneaker community have to say you are the final boss shame on you because that in itself is humiliation like that's that's incredible humiliation to you guys because at the end of the day everybody should get, be getting the deliveries their hard-earned money spent on us on a commodity to their address safely and um to call you the final boss to say you are the final boss before i can get my goods that's bad bro if you think about it bro think about it when when i when i think about uh, it's like i was saying a little while ago when I think about people that are in charge of these major corporations and some of the things that um, that are immoral that they participate in, I can't then feel like they really care about um, the average consumer like us, like the stuff that we discuss on here when people, you know, getting a pair of $100 uh, sneakers stolen don't mean nothing to a billionaire. Yeah, yeah. Let, 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 <laughs> you know? let, let me... You know what? The, you know what the worst thing is. I, I'll tell you the worst thing about the situation. Forget, forget your package being stolen. Forget the fact that Nike sell it, sell it, sell it, send it in a box which is branded that no people know it's a Nike box and it might be something special. Forget the people that steal it. Forget everything else. But you know what the worst thing about this whole situation is? Oh. Is making that phone call to Nike. And say my package got stolen because they don't understand. They don't understand how rare that sneaker might be. They don't understand if it's still in stock or not. Their simple explanation is sorry, the stock it's out of stock. We can give you a refund. That is the worst call ever because you know you might have hit on some rare sneaker that uh-huh. you, you don't normally get and it's just been stolen and you're never going to get it again because you might have to pay that resale and it's all out of stock everywhere. That phone call is the worst phone call you could ever make as a sneakerhead. You know what? <clears throat> and I think um, a, a question that we will never have answered is what percentage of people work at the brands that actually realize what some of these products mean to some of the customers and the culture that um, we participate they're not, in. They're, they're, not, they're not part. Of, they're not part of a culture. They're not part of unless there's a rarity. They're, they're not sneakerheads, bro. They're just people that work that job for a call center that have to liaise with the customers. 
that's a customer service based job. They don't know about sneakers. They don't know about the merchandise. Exactly. <laughs> so. and this is this is this is this, and that's that's the thing is that the the thing you're expecting to see the compassion come back from the people that like you know I'm sorry, but you don't get that. You just get it's our sock story. We'll give you a refund. Yeah. Worst game. phone call, but yeah, it's the game, bro. It's definitely a game. It's definitely a game, bro. But yes. Episode fifty, episode sixty-six. I wasn't fifty-six. Episode sixty-six, sixty-six of the Shooter Podcast. Um, with me and the bro, eight hundred kicks ATL. Anything you want to say before we end it, bro? Nah, man. Uh, we appreciate all the supporters. We here. We'll be back. We'll constantly be back. back. We constantly back. Cantily back, cantily back. Uh, call it out, bro, because um, this been this has been a great episode. Um, a lot of uh, interesting subjects today. Uh, like I said, we had to cut a lot. Of, we had to cut a bit out, to be honest. Um, yeah. to, we we're still, we still, still went a little long, but uh, yeah, it not too long, not too long. It's just, it's yeah. just about just exceeded our two hour mark. But yes, call it out before it becomes longer, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry, man. Listen, hopefully uh, everybody out there have a great day, great week, great month, and a great remainder to y'all. Yeah, man. And hopefully everybody that wants a Yeezy Season 10 white T-shirt can get a Yeezy Season 10 T-shirt so they can look as basic as basic can be. All right. Because you've just been... (laughs) TZ. <laughs> <laughs>